Well, without light, there's no vision. That's it. Um, and as your eye gets older, the older eye is less efficient at processing light. So what we tend to find is that the, one of the first things people say to me when they come in when they're over 40 is, I'm really struggling to see to read. I'm fine if I take it over to the window. Um, so they've noticed themselves that more light increases contrast and they can see better to read. Perhaps they don't understand it in those terms, but they can see the results for themselves. And as they get older, um, they notice that they need to add more and more and more light. The problem is that they don't realise that that the, the standard lamp that they've got in the corner of the room, they turn it on and it improves things a little bit, but most of the light's coming down the bottom and out the top and it, it doesn't hit the page that they're looking at. Um, and then they find that in the winter, um, when there's no ambient illumination, you know, the, the ambient illumination outside isn't so good, um, going over to the window doesn't help as much. Um, and when you actually demonstrate to them that, you know, look, here we are, we're going to direct light right down onto the work and see how much that increases the contrast. And they're like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Um, and with my patients, a lot of them, because they're very elderly, um, often they'll come in and there's not really a lot we can do for them optically. Maybe they might want a nice new pair of spectacles, but we know that nice new pair of spectacles isn't going to make, give them you know, a wow, how much has that improved my vision? Um, so by showing them that by increasing the light, they can improve their vision. They're kind of, oh, well, that's great. So now I get to wear my nice new spectacles and um, I get to see uh, much more clearly. Oh, it's absolutely crucial. I mean, light is what we're all about. We are optometrists measuring light and measuring the best way to get it in perfect focus in a person's eye. And it's well known that as you go from, say, 20 to 60, you need something like three times more light. So unfortunately, what tends to happen is most people don't know that. So it's our job not just to get them in focus, but to fully inform them. It's our job to make sure that they're aware that we've crafted spectacles or contact lenses to give them the best vision. But if they let us down, if they go home and don't uh, take the best advantage of lighting, they won't get the very best image. So we're in our consulting rooms, we've actually got the very best lighting setup, such as uh, the, the lights around me now. Um, <clears throat> their performance, their ultimate ideal won't be reached. So we have to crucially advise on lighting and lighting techniques. Lighting is key. Think about it in the following way. Uh, I'm an optometrist. That, the first part of the word opto refers to the eye. The second part, metrist, refers to measuring. Measuring the eye. And the eye can only function with light. In fact, we are effectively measuring how well the human eye responds to light and processes light. Uh, so I can do a fantastic examination. I can make superb spectacles uh, with the best high-quality ophthalmic lenses. But frankly, the whole scenario rapidly unravels, unravels in the absence of light. So I do make jolly sure that people end up uh, with a good light um, at the end of the day. We did a lot of research um, because I have an elderly patient base. I was constantly saying to them, what you need is a good task light, a good angle poise type light. And then they'd say, where do I get it? And you'd think, oh, well, actually, where do you get it? So Brian and I looked around, found serious readers, and we thought, well, we'd get you guys in and, and we'd have a look at them. And we were actually so impressed. We had one each for our consulting room. <laughs> um, and um, they, the, we like them because they're very task-specific. So when you turn them on, you don't get a flood of light everywhere. It, it, it can be, it's really directional. They're neat. Um, they're not obtrusive. Um, they, uh, the colours are, are subtle, so they'll blend in with most decor, um, which is, you know, patients do ask about these things. Um, and um, they don't get hot, because a lot of my patients are elderly, and, you know, if they, if they sort of reach up to touch them, we don't really want them getting burnt. Um, so we like them very much indeed, and we haven't had a single complaint from anybody who has ever had one. I've spent the last 
30, 40 years in practice, saying to my uh, elderly patients that, that really uh, need help with lighting, they're the ones that are most are, are, are in trouble. I spent a long time saying, you need a light. What sort, seller? what sort shall I get? Um, well, you need one that sits on your shoulder so the light is directed on your page. A, a table lamp doesn't do the job because the light from a table lamp or a standard lamp goes spreading around the room. Oh, but I turn the light on in my room. But it, it's too far away. The inverse square law of lighting says that you double the distance you course of the light. So we end up with a real problem that the, the oldies, the seniors, don't quite understand that. So we have to really give them direction. And having now started working with serious readers and the lighting, uh, such as the, the HD version, has given me a real opportunity to give them a number of advantages. Firstly, it arrives at their door without them having to do anything. A lot of them actually don't have the facility to go shopping. They're not driving these days. They don't have young relatives. It's out of the box, onto their table, and straight onto their book. So there's no messing around with having to build anything or put it together. The lighting is directed superbly onto their page. So the whole thing is just an excellent way from start to finish for them to complete the best reading task they can. Serious Readers are a company that utterly dovetail with my ethos in terms of completely rounding off the service that I provide. Yes, I can do a super eye examination, I can prescribe wonderful spectacles uh, with the best quality optics, but frankly the whole thing rapidly unravels unless uh, that person has good quality light at home. Uh, one of the things I measure, and it's hard to quantify, is what I call visual comfort. Uh, and that is going through the task of seeing without straining one's eyes. And uh, having initially had to recommend that the person just meander into a lighting department and randomly choose uh, whatever happens to be on display, uh, I'm now able to uh, pinpoint exactly the light that I think would benefit that person uh, from the serious reader's range and know that serious readers will, readers will give an excellent uh, customer experience in terms of delivering that light, giving a full uh, satisfaction warranty, and in the exceedingly unlikely event that the person doesn't benefit from that light, um, backing them to the hilt in terms of satisfaction warranties, but hey, that doesn't seem to happen very often.